Hello everyone, Black Ice here, and welcome back to the Ten Iron Trials 3. Last time we left off, we were on Trial 7, I believe this is the one with the timer. Um, no. No, it isn't. This is Trial 8. Trial 7 was the one we did with the notes and hearing and stuff. Oh yeah, I didn't open this yet. Right, let's put these books up here. I'm not really supposed to have these, I don't think, but uh, hopefully that's not going to really affect much. and Hopefully we'll be okay. Let's take a look at Trial 8. Seems like a simple obstacle course, doesn't it? Well, yes it does, and it is. Simple as it may look, we're going to splash some liquid on you. No idea what it is, but apparently it really messes with your retinas and your eyeballs. Oh no! You'll see what I mean. Your objective, reach the end of the obstacle course in 90 seconds. That's a minute and 30 seconds. Be careful of the one block jumps though. Be sure if you hit the timer before, or be sure you hit the timer before proceeding to the obstacle course. Please take a nap before proceeding. That's really important. Okay. Oh boy. Hi there. This test involves nausea potion, the potion which makes your vision all woozy. This message is warning for players who may suffer from motion sickness. That's me. I guess I don't have to do it. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'll be okay. If you, the player, start to feel sick or nauseous at any point in time during the test. Stop whatever you're doing, close Minecraft, and lie down for 10 to 15 minutes. To prevent motion sickness, adjust your room lighting so that your computer screen isn't the brightest thing in the room. Why am I telling you this? Because you wouldn't want to hurl your lunch on your keyboard, now would you? Nope. Yeah, I didn't think so. Love, Mark. Thanks, Mark. And that goes for you viewers, too. If you start to feel motion sickness, uh, please follow those directions. Gotta be uh, looking out for you guys. What's this? The respawn room, huh? Is this where the diamond is? No, this is the place where the nap is. So, set the time tonight. Take a little nap. And just in case, because I'm probably going to die, I'll just drop all these books off in this chest, because uh, I don't think I'm supposed to really have them anyway. So let's, you know, let's throw all these in there. We've read the rules. We'll be okay. Um, that's the timer. Alright, I kind of want to just uh, walk through it without hitting the timer first, just to kind of see what we're dealing with, so, uh... Oh, boy. Alright, I have my particles at minimal. Oh, this is terrible. Whoa, okay, this is really bad. Alright, oh, oh, yeah, and you, as you can see, I'm in. Okay, um, I just want to go through it slow first, just to kind of, uh... Get an idea of what you're supposed to do where, and that looks like it might be a hidden room type thing. I wonder if you run through there fast enough, if you, like, won't, uh, suffer the effects of it. Oh, this is terrible. I guess the key here, really, is to hold down shift. It's just really, really, really bad. Actually, this probably lasts more than a, a minute and a half. So... Oh, I made that jump just barely. Holding down shift, though. Alright, it also seems like a minute and a half would be kind of like plenty of time to do this. Alright, so... This is probably the way I'd want to go, but I want to check this out first, because that might be the secret room or something. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, man, that was scary. Okay, we got in. I think this is the secret room. Oh, thank goodness it is. All right, here, let's open this chest up. Awesome oh, milk. That's going to be so helpful. I'm not going to use it yet, though, just in case. I want to try to make it back there, and that way I can just use it and be okay. All right, test your subject 771. Well, let's read what that person has to say. Wow, thank God that stopped. Oh, look, my deaths are showing up now. That wasn't happening before. I don't know why. And, uh, sorry for the dog barking. She doesn't know many things. Anyway, I still can't get out. These walls of iron have caught fast. I'm slowly losing my mind. Four hours, four days, four weeks, who knows? My senses are slowly fading. I can't get out, but I must. Yes, you must, 771. Take that diamond. Um, I don't want to use that. Okay, exit. No, your inventory will be cleared when leaving. Yeah, oh 
man, so the milk's not gonna help there. Let's just drink it then. Oh, wow, that was awful. Alright, to prevent unauthorized objects leaving here. Dang it, you're terrible, man. <laughs> just when I thought I discovered something that could help me. Because, yeah, you can't get out there, so. Goodbye, milk. I wish you could stay with me. Um, how do I leave? Is this the, no, that's where I came from. Uh, where, how do I get out of here? Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah, inventory was cleared. That's unfortunate. But, uh, okay, there's that hint there. I can't really read it. I think that's a hint to the hidden room, but, uh, you know, let's just try to run through it. I think I beat the potion? No. Nope, just taking a while to take effect. Alright, and I know I haven't been hitting the timer, but, uh, I'm not trying to speed through this quite yet. I just want to get a hang of it first. This is awful, by the way. Don't ever do this. Oh, oh I was so close to overjumping that. Let's see, is this going to be useful? It could be, but I don't want to get there. Okay, so I go up there, and then this way, then over to there, then up this. Wow, that's going to be really... It's going to take a while. It's going to be one of the harder trials, that's for sure. Going up isn't so bad, but like going across and going well down are really terrible. So yeah, if you start to get sick from this, then uh, you know what to do. Well, if you listen to the directions. Okay, that was bad. Okay, come on, let's drop down. Shift is like your best friend on this thing for sure. Don't know where I would be without the shift key. Oh boy, this is really, really, really scary. That looks like a hint, but you can't even read that. I mean, I guess you could, but it's really hard. Alright, so, okay, this looks kind of doable in a minute 30. I don't... I mean, I may have taken a little bit of extra time already, but, uh, it, it, it definitely looks doable. It doesn't look impossible. Like, that seems like a pun, like a, uh, you know, like plenty of time to, oh, oh man. All right, well, I'm going to try it with the timer this time, because it does seem like plenty of time to get over there while still being careful, so, uh, I'm just going to, nope, dang it. All right, here we go. All right, oh, oh, come on. I'm, I'm doing a lot worse already with uh, the timer on, I could feel, because uh being rushed. Okay, there we go. And I am not going to take any chances. I'm not going to unshift anywhere. I think that, uh, yeah, I could definitely get there in a minute 30 if I do this right. So thank you for being generous with the time limit, but, uh, Still, that doesn't necessarily make it an easy thing to do. Okay, there we go. Especially those jumps there. They're a lot harder than they seem. Because you don't really... You can't really... Your depth perception is thrown off, for one. And it's hard to, like, focus on, like, the point you want to jump to because of all this craziness. Okay, so I apologize for any uh, distress I may have caused you by this video. Hashtag blame Mark. No, I'm just kidding. He makes good maps. And this is a really creative idea. I've never actually seen this done before. Although I'm, I'm sure it may have been thought of before. I've never actually seen a map anything that anything like this really. Oh, I just barely made it. And uh, just run, run, and we got it. Okay, good. Uh, keep the door open, right? Yeah, okay, now antidote. Thank you for the antidote. Take it ASAP. Okay. Wow. Okay, you can have your bucket back. That was... That was crazy. Alright, thank goodness that's over. What is this? Oh boy. Is this trial 8? Trial 9? Oh yeah, I keep forgetting what trial I'm on. I have a feeling I'm going to need these carrots, so let's take these. Trial 9. You must be, feel lonely testing all by yourself now, don't you? Well, you're not doing it alone this round. In this test, we're providing you with a companion. It is your duty to guide him along and hit the four checkpoints in numerical order. Once done, the door will open. It's that simple, really. Just leaving you time to t 
talk to one of your own fellow species. Oh, jeez. It's going to be something degrading, like a pig. Actually, those are the only things that get attracted by carrots, I think. At least it's not timed, but let's see where he's going to come out. So he's probably going to come out at a... I saw a dispenser somewhere. All right, right here. He's probably going to come out right here. And to get to checkpoint one, we just have to go uh, through... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. How do you get in there? Is that... Yeah, that's checkpoint one. How do you possibly get him in there? It's completely fenced off. Um, it's checkpoint three. Yeah, how do you get him? Oh, okay. Maybe you... No? Maybe he's, like, on the fence, but I don't know how you would spawn him like that. And even if he was, because then if he fell in there, he wouldn't be able to get up. Oh, or maybe these iron blocks will, like, go into the wall once the uh, test starts. That might be it. Yeah, okay, so where's the... Where is he? Unlocking checkpoint one. Well, where's my companion? Um... Yeah, because that definitely unblocked it, which is good. Do I have to hit the button again? I don't see anything. Huh, okay, uh... Yeah, okay, that it doesn't say anything about the spawning. Let me check. I mean, okay, I'm on. I'm not even on peaceful, so it's not like, like that really wouldn't have anything to do with it anyway. But can I like press the button again? Or oh wait, what's this for? Spawn companion. Wow, I'm dumb. <laughs> it was right there the whole time. Hey guy, uh, let's go. Wow, he actually sur he follows surprisingly well for uh, you know, being so far away from him. I I would think that this would be a lot like more difficult as in like game mechanic wise and I went the wrong way already come on guy Let's see what should we name this guy it looks like uh okay maybe this is a lot harder than I thought I'm just gonna trace this backwards stay there guy okay I see where to go come on come on piggy oh boy okay okay is he following me now yeah it looks like he might be oh no no he's just being derpy Hey, hey pig, yeah, you want some carrots? Let's get some carrots, and I am going the right way, correct? Yeah. Alright, don't don't take your eyes off me, little piggy. We're gonna, we're gonna eat these carrots, and uh, you know what? I'll give them all to you when we're done with this. If you just behave and, you know, don't try to, like, screw me over and make it so that I can't win. Alright, there's checkpoint one, and that should unlock checkpoint two. Yes, okay, let's go to there. Um, don't know where it is, but uh, this is the only way out. Hey, stay with me, stay with me, come on. Uh, checkpoint two, I think that's checkpoint two, and that's three. Oh no, oh yeah, that's probably two, because now it's not locked, so. At least, uh, there's not, uh, there's four checkpoints, basically. Yeah, this is all good. It's checkpoint two. Three's unlocked. Is that right across the way? Yeah, it is. All right, so how do we get in there? All right, yeah, this isn't so bad, actually. This is, like, nothing compared to that uh, iron bar nausea thing, but uh, I'm glad. I'm glad to have some relief because, especially relief on my eyes because that was the worst. So hopefully you guys didn't get sick or anything. And actually, for those of you who survived that nausea thing without throwing up, um, I have some news for you. Uh, when I was opening Minecraft today, I noticed that uh, I had my snapshot things profile selected at the time, and I noticed that it said ready to download and play Minecraft 1.7, and it wasn't a snapshot, so that means the pre-release is out today, and I looked on uh, the Mojang website, and they said that... The, yes, the pre-release is out today, and the full release will be Friday, assuming there's, like, no major bugs or anything that would, uh, mess with it. So, oh, I'm looking forward to doing a video on that today, so, if you're watching, stay tuned for that. Yes. I wasn't really gonna give him the carrots. Unless you can. No, I'm just gonna eat these now. Well, as much as I can, anyway. Trial 10. For this trial, we're just going to make you do one simple task. All you got to do is hit a lever. That's it. Just hit a lever, and you're good to go. 
No catch, just a simple task. Flip the switch and you win the trial. No jokes, stop doubting me. Shoo, go do it. Yeah, hit a lever. Yep, that's definitely going to be what the trial is. Oh. Okay. Well then. The secret room is in the corner. Find the right lever to unlock it. Oh my goodness. Okay. Hey. He said there was no catch. Secret room. Alright, we'll take a look at that. Actually, we'll take a look at uh, the answer... No, the catch, the answer, and then the secret room. I, I guess I don't really don't need to put these in order. Alright, so the catch. Okay, fine. I admit there was a catch. But what good would a tenth trial be if it were so easy, huh? Yeah, I agree. The clues here, or the clues are in the chest. Have fun. The objective is simple. Find the correct lever, flip it, the door will open. Oh, and don't bother trying to flip all 288 levers. I thought of that already. Flipping a wrong lever will lock the door. So if you want to play safe, flip only one lever. If it's wrong, flip it back. Otherwise, you're going to be spending a long time here. Okay, so the answer. Yellow stands two away from me. Blue stands between black and me. I see blue across the room. The blocks that surround me are not of my own color. Okay, so... Wow. So yellow's two away, and then blue is between black. So black touches it, and yellow's two away. Oh, how, where do we even begin? And it's across from something that's blue, so... Okay, no, it didn't mean to open that. Let's see, is it this? Yellow's two of what? No, not that. Shit, I don't even know where to begin. Oh, and there's the... Okay, and we'll surround. What's this? Now, some of you may be confused as to what the word surround means in the clues. In this case, the word surround refers to the eight blocks that are around it. Okay, that is kind of what I thought, but I can see how that's confusing. For example, on a typical nine-digit keypad, the number five is surrounded by the digits one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Understand? Good. Carry on. Okay, and then the secret room. How about that? Black sits next to me. White is above me, but doesn't surround me. Orange sits from a cr sits across from me. Green sits next to black, but green does not sit next to me. Okay, so that means it is uh, not in the top row, and there's a white one above it. Um. Okay. And it's next to something that's black. So maybe it's one of these. Oh man, this is so crazy. I hate puzzles. <laughs> Alright, orange sits across from me. Okay, so it's across from orange. Wait, what did I think? Oh yeah. Okay, it could be like right here. No. Orange. Maybe it's no. No, it's probably not that. Okay, where's some some more orange? All right, there's orange here. Not, not underneath white. No. Okay, no. And it's gotta be like in the, it basically has to be in this row because if white is above it and doesn't surround it, that would mean it's not in anywhere here, but it is above it, so. We'll check, actually it might be better to check if, uh, where white is up there. Okay, and then, it's next to a, something that's black. Okay, this could be it right here so far. Uh, orange is across from it, unless, maybe, no. Yeah, that can't be it then. Alright, so let's find the next white thing. Alright, so this green. Black is next to it. I don't know if diagonal would be next to it, though. Anyway, let's look at the rest of the clues. White is above it. doesn't surround it. That's true. Oh, wait, no, it does surround it here in this case because it's right there. Alright, so it wasn't that, wasn't that. Maybe it's this one? No, because black isn't next to it. This one's black is next to it. Oh, did not mean to do that. My bad. Uh, okay, hopefully, I meant to open the book. 
But I, I'll, I also need to like look up so I can see everything around it. There we go. So black is next to it. That's true. White is above it. That's true. And it doesn't surround it. Then that's no, not that. Can't be that. Maybe it's this one. Black is next to it. White is above it, but doesn't surround it. There's orange across from it. Yes. I th I'm thinking this is the one. Green sits next to black, but green does not sit next to me. Yes. Like, right, this is the secret room. Or maybe not. What's supposed to open here? Secret room's in the corner. Okay. Which corner? Uh oh. But that fits all the clues. How does that not open anything? And I'm the right lever to unlock. So I would guess it's in that corner. Alright, I'm gonna try that again because this one worked. That fits all the clues. Unless you have to like no. It's not in that corner. It's not in any of these corners. That's strange. I may have screwed something up by hitting that lever in accident, but I did flip it back. Alright, um... Alright, well, we'll just find another one that fits it. Could be this one. No, can't be that one, actually. I'm just going over the clues real fast. Okay, this might be the one. Okay, black sits next to me, yes. Orange sits across from me. Um, no. Okay. Um, wait, what one was that again? This pink one here? Yeah, so it might be... No, black isn't next to it. Okay, this one could be it. So, white is above me, does not surround me. True. Black sits next to me. Also true. Orange sits across from me. No. Huh, th th these are really hard. Alright, forget the secret room. We're gonna try the real one. Alright, yellow stands two away from me. This one seems harder, though, because there's not, like... I can see blue across the room. The blocks that surround me are not my own color. Okay, so, um... Yeah, this one's definitely the harder one. I guess the easiest one to find would be... I see blue across the room, so... If, but then again, that could be anything with blue... Alright, blue across the room from this would be this orange one right here. Alright, and let's check the rest. Yellow two away. Nope. Well, yeah, it's right there, but I don't know if that would count as well. We'll keep looking though. Black stands, or blue stands between me and black. No. Nope. Okay, so how about this blue one? That goes to... Um... I'll just go to here, so I don't think it would be this one. But I guess we can look at the clues. Yellow two way, blue between, and black no. Okay. So those blues are taken care of. Let's try this one at the bottom. Alright, one more. Yellow is two away from me. Yes. Uh, blue across the room, yes. Blue stands between me and black. No. Not here. Alright, so let's try this one up here. So that would be this lever here. Um, let's see. Yellow two way? No, yellow's like surrounding it. Alright, and we'll try this blue. Yellow two away, nowhere. Uh, how about this blue? It's yellow two away. Okay, no this one. So there is yellow two-way, but there, it is also right next to it, but I guess we can go through the rest of them. Does blue stand between it and black? No, not really. Man, this is a tough puzzle. Let's try this top one here. Yellow two-way? Nope. Okay. And this top one, how about it? Uh, right here, yellow two-way? No. Okay. And this one, right here, is there yellow two-way? No. Oh boy. And finally this one, is there yellow two-way? No. Okay. 
and we'll check this one. Is there a yellow two-way there? No, I can tell by just that. This one is nothing. This one's nothing, this one's nothing, because they're all just pointing at the entrance at that point. This one could be that pink one or the top one, but either way, I don't think it's that. All right, so let's try this one. And if you can't really guess what I'm doing, it's just that uh, it says I see blue across the room, which I assume means that blue's directly across from it, because technically blue's across the room in all these, but not directly. So I'm going to where the blues are, going directly across from there, and trying to determine if that is uh, the thing in question. No. And the reason why you'll see me like immediately doubting some of them is because yellow is not two away. Except this one is. Yellow is two away, but blue is in between it and black. I'm starting to remember these clues. Alright, let's check this top one. Yellow two away. Nope. Alright, where's the next blue? Here it is. This could be it. Yellow is two away, but blue is not between it and black. That is the one, right? Yeah. So not that. Let's try this one. Yellow two away, yes. Blue between it and black. Actually, yeah. On this diagonal, it does. Um, blue's across the room. We already checked that. The blocks that surround me are not my own color. This could be the one. Ha 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 ha! We got it! Awesome! So that's the answer, but we want to also find the secret room if we can. So, let's actually try the same thing. This might take a little while, and sorry if it does, but orange is across from it. And white is above it, but doesn't surround it. Okay, so... Again, it's gotta be an orange one in this row. Because it's the only way for white to be above it, but not surround it. So let's try this. Alright, uh, orange is across. Okay, black is next to it. I guess technically. We'll, we'll count diagonals as being next to it, just for the sake of guessing. Alright, um, green sits next to black, but black does not sit next to me. Wait a minute. Black sits next to me. Green s Oh wait, but green does not sit next to me. Okay, so it can't be that. Um, I don't want to go in the trap door, so let's try this one. Alright, well actually it's first, okay, white is above this one, so this could be it. Um, see, orange cross, white is above, doesn't surround, yep. Black sits next to it, I guess we'll count that diagonal as that. Green sits next to black, but green does not sit next to me. I would not say so here. So let's try again. Alright, here's another one. Alright, and white is surrounding it, so that already doesn't work. Let's try this one. White surrounds it. Um, I guess these uh, lower oranges could be it. But I would just kind of doubt it. White is above it, doesn't surround it. Actually, this could be it. Orange is across. White's above, doesn't surround it. Black is next to me. Green sits next to black, but black... Okay, this is actually, I think, this one for the secret room. Yes, secret room unlocked. Awesome. So we got this. We did all the clues, and you guys probably were knowing how to solve this puzzle better than me, but hey, I tried my hardest, and this was a tough puzzle. I mean, my mind is, like, not used to this stuff. You don't do that every day in school. All right, so test subject, is it 260, I think? Day 237. I have to get out of here. I hate it here. Everything seems to want to hurt me, even the walls. Yeah, I know what you feel like. I smeared my blood in the walls to get them to stop following me. Okay, I lost you there. I can't relate to that. <laughs> I'm scared. I think they want to kill me. Alright. Hopefully the walls don't kill you, guy. And, uh... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... I missed a diamond somewhere. Wait a minute. Oh, they're not, like, in order or anything. Oh, well. I missed a diamond somewhere other than the first one. I think. Because I only have eight. But anyway, let's go down here. We've completed the 10 Iron Trials 3, I believe. But uh, let's see what else awaits us. If there's like a map tour or something. Alright, more diamonds. Proceed here for bonus. We will be doing the bonus. I may have to cut this video in half or something. We'll check. Proceed to the end here. No, we want the bonus. Alright, congratulations. You've completed the 10 Iron Trials. 
However, your adventure is not over yet. Do you remember those diamonds that you found during your journey here? If you have collected eight diamonds or more, oh, that's me. You may proceed to unlock the bonus. However, if you don't manage to collect eight diamonds or more, your adventure ends here and you may proceed to the doors to your right. You will receive further instructions when you get to your designated area. Carry on. Awesome. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Got exactly eight. So that'll work. Do I put them in the hopper or something? Oh, and there's like a bonus diamond. I, I'm not going to include that, but just in case. Congratulations on retrieving eight diamonds or more. As a result, you get to unlock the bonus. Use your diamonds plus the extra one in the chest if needed to create a diamond block. Once that's done, throw the diamond block into the hopper and the room will unlock. Do not throw any other objects into the hopper. Trust me, the validation bot is smarter than you think. Bonus doors back in the main room. You will be rescanned and sent to your bonus. Good luck. All right, so let's make that diamond block then. Yay for quick crafting. And let's just toss it in the hopper here. Come on, it's a diamond block. You can trust me, validation bot. All right, door's been opened. But where? Is it in here? It's probably in here. Yep, right there. Alright, what's this? Scanner? Oh yeah, we have to be scanned. Uh, scan one at a time. Scanning. This is pretty cool, the scanning thing. I like it. Oh, what the heck is this? Jungle room or something. Test subject 515 unknown. Status escaped. Uh oh. Oh wait, is that me? I think that might be me. Welcome to the mine of Test Subject 515. Before he escaped, he wrote his memories and left them in several rooms with the idea of letting only the best of people to find him. Your objective is to locate and retrieve the memories by solving puzzles and riddles. Once you retrieve and unlock one memory, the next room will open and you will be able to search for the next memory. So that sounds like it's going to be for another episode. So um, I'm actually going to end the video here and we will attempt the bonus once this is over. Because it does sound like there's going to be quite a few of these. So um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And actually I should probably put this in peaceful. And I will see you in the next one. Till then, goodbye everyone. Have a great day.